Hey, what's up? It's Jake, and we're going to be going over a specialized clause called the ELIF clause. So before we did uh, an ELSE and an IF clause, but this is a sort of binary situation where you either do or you do not need to call your manager. But in some situations, there's more than two paths to choose from. Um, so we're going to go over that, and we will use the wonderful tax system um, in America as a way to illustrate that. So I'm going to go taxes.py, make a new file. And um, sometimes you'll see this, let's throw this out there, you'll see the name of the file in the comments at the top. Uh, that's just a thing optionally that people do. You don't have to do it, but I just figured I'd bring it up. So let's say you had an income of $15,000 uh, that year. Okay. Um, I have a teenager, so this is something that, you know, I could show her. Um, okay, so um, if you're not familiar with the tax system, um, if your income is, is below a certain amount, you, you don't end up having to really have a lot of taxes taken out. But the more you make, the 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 more taxes you're supposed to pay. Now that's the theory, but we all know that's not how that works. But let's start with something simple. Okay, so my income is $15,000. If income is less than $15,000, we're going to say that you have a tax coefficient of 0, 0.0. Okay. Um, now, in this case, there's going to be multiple else statements, but you can't put else, 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 because Python can only do one else clause. So what you need instead is something called else if, or if you put them together, else if, but it's actually condensed to just elif. That's what elif is, else if. Okay, so elif income is less than $30,000, okay, um, we're going to say that the tax coefficient is 0 0.2. You're going to pay 20% taxes, okay. Elif, your income is less than $100,000, oops, colon, you're going to have a tax, I spelled elif wrong, elif. You're going to have a tax coefficient of 35%. Elif income, um, let's see, and if it's any higher than that, then it'll be 40%, 45%. So we'll just say else at the end, uh, your tax coefficient is 0 0.45. Okay. So now we need to we need to print this obviously. So we're going to use our little f and then say uh, you will pay and then uh, dollar sign and then whatever the we'll do brackets and whatever the income is right times the tax coefficient. Close the bracket in taxes. Okay. So this says, and, and you, if you're a math person, you might be uh, jumping up and down, and I'll address your issue in a second. So this just says you will pay whatever your income, so $15,000 times the tax coefficient. So in the case of 20%, it would say you will pay you know, $3,000 if it were this were the tax coefficient. If the tax coefficient is zero, then you should pay uh, zero, right? So the problem with that is there's a, if you, if you make, what if you make more? Cause isn't, or what it, is it, isn't 15,000 less than 30,000, but also less than 100,000. So these are all true. Well, yes, that's true. But remember, um, I said we were going to talk about control flow. So when we talk about control flow here, Python is going to set this variable equal to the value 15,000. And then it's going to say is, okay, if the statement is true, 
I'm going to do this. If that's true, I'm not going to do any of this other stuff. I'm just going to stop and I'm going to jump out of this uh, branching thing that you built right here. And I'm just going to go straight to the end. Okay. Because it will only do this if this is not true. So that's why I can say um, LF income less than 30,000. Right. Technically, you could you could put LF income uh, uh, is greater than equal to 15,000 and less than 30,000. You could do that as well if you wanted to be more specific. But the, um, a much more elegant, shorter solution is to just understand how control flow works and to program this as if it were stepping through these in order and stopping when something is true because this is essentially, um, it's got multiple branches and, and it will just ignore the rest of them if it's something is true. So let's try it. So if I run Python taxes, you will pay $3,000 in taxes. Okay, well that's that's true, right? Because it's not less than 15, it is 15,000, right? If I said less than or equal to, or something like that, then it would be true. If I change this to uh, 14,000, what happens? You pay nothing, right? And if I put two decimal places here, then what happens? Nothing. It's still one decimal place. Well, why is that? Why is that happening? Well, now you're getting into why floats are floats and and all that stuff, and you might want to convert it. Remember what we talked about decimal conversion from floats and just to not use floating numbers. This is why floating point integers can cause some problems. There's also ways to format them, um, and we won't get into that right now. We'll do a separate section on formatting. Uh, so let's say that it's it's thirty thousand, thirty thousand dollars a year. That's a nice promotion. Double your pay. You're going to pay ten thousand five hundred dollars in taxes. Well, what if you made a hundred thousand dollars? If you pay make a hundred thousand, you're going to pay forty five thousand dollars in taxes. Now, that's not actually true, but you get the idea. So the whole idea, um, hopefully, is clear, is that you can use um, ELSIF or ELIF statements as many times as you want. Um, and this is the proper way to um, approach uh, a series of questions where you do not have a binary solution, such as, do I, go to, do I need to call my manager if I'm late to work? Yes or no. That's two things you can use, if and else. If you have um, a situation where there are multiple right answers, depending on the situation, ELIF would be the correct choice. And your last uh, clause should be an else, um, just so that it will break out of that. So anyways, I hope that makes sense. Uh, welcome to using the ELIF clause. I, it, it's been fantastic hanging out with you all, and I hope you have a great day.